Alexa. Hi guys, good uh, afternoon. My name is Clément Denarier. I'm, uh, as you can hear, French. I'm the sales manager for Oki, also known as the Oki app. Even though we are not an app, we are a web app. That makes a big, big difference. Um, what I want to talk to you today about is modern, modern upsell for the modern hotelier. And uh, well, I'm super glad to be here today. And I'm actually, I'm super, super glad to see so many of you uh, that showed up today and stayed until now, because I know it's uh, getting pretty late. Um, that means that you and me, we actually have one thing in common. We care about the guests and we want to create superior and memorable guest experiences. You must be thinking, wait, did I miss something? Upselling, guest experience, usually these two things don't really go together. Isn't upselling just about making more cash out of the same customer? Well, this is exactly what we want to go away from. Our vision is to move from transactional and traditional upselling to go to what we call upsell as a service. Go away from this feeling of having this nickel and diming, this sort of um, squeezing every single cent out of your guest upselling methods. The point there is really to give them a personalized platform for them to design their stay, give them the freedom actually to be completely in control. Your guests, the modern travelers, are the same customers and the same users of Spotify, of Netflix. They already control their entertainment like they want to. So why not give them the same freedom to do the same to design their state? This can only happen if companies like us, upselling platforms, move away from these high commission models. Um, what we want to do is give you the freedom to offer all of these services that actually enhance the guest experience. We can't do it if we charge you 25% commission because you will not offer this nice service that the guests really like because you will just keep on worrying about your margin profit, profit margins and you would be right. So that's why we decided to go on a commission-free uh, model. Our mission is actually to create long-term profit together with all hoteliers. We have three different ways to do it. Well, the first one is pretty logical. We create top-line revenue that flows down directly to the bottom line, creating profit. We create uh, and we help hotels to sell in-house products, for instance, like a restaurant dinner, a spa treatment, or to offer third-party services from your partners. Think of a taxi transfer from the airport or to the airport. Think of um, a collaboration with the wellness next door to give a nice check-in massage to your guests. These services, these products are solely there to make your guests happier. And that means long-term, I won't have to teach that to you, that means long-term that they will leave more positive reviews, which means that your ranking will go up on Booking.com, on TripAdvisor, and long-term you can actually charge more for the same room without disappointing your guests, they will be happier, but also without major investments. 458, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is the time it took to connect Oki to Muse. Four minutes and 58 seconds. By the time I'm done and I see the, count the, the countdown going, we could actually connect three more hotels to Oki. Any volunteers in the room? Joke aside. I just want to say a big, big thank you to Muse uh, for the amazing, awesome job they did today. And again, super happy to be, uh, to be part of this event. Um, I also want to say a big thank you to Muse for actually the, day, the work that they do every day. I think that they're doing an amazing and awesome, I even lose my words of it, um, job at really challenging the status quo in the hospitality industry. We are a tiny specialist, and we need a connection. This is the big, big problem uh, that Oki is seeing every single day. A lot of hotels actually do want to communicate with the guests, but they can't because of their PMS. Well, because of Muse and because of the open uh, platform that we have, it's just very, very easy to finally satisfy your guests. Speaking about guests, I would like you to meet Paul. Paul is, doesn't exist. I see some worried face in the front. I know Paul is your regular, typical guest. Um, Paul, like many others, didn't take so much time to book his room. He went directly through the booking process because either you had an amazing booking engine on your website or maybe he even uh, booked through an OTA. And Paul, uh, at the end, booked um, what we call SRNB, standard room, no breakfast. So just the easiest and cheapest, probably. Um, that's actually when it starts getting really interesting to us. Because just like 13% of all the other arriving guests that you have, we could help Paul upgrade his stay. This is how it works. We connect to Muse, so 
Oki actually connects to Muse and receives the data of all the arriving guests. So Paul, 10 days before arrival, in the comfort of his home, probably sipping a glass of wine on his couch, receives an email that looks like it's being sent from the hotel. It has the right pictures, the right logo. It's also in his own language. And well, what we've seen, what we've optimized and researched is that 10 days before arrival is the perfect time to sell room upgrades to these guests. Because Paul probably remembers he has a stay coming up in your hotel, but probably doesn't remember the room type he did not book. So that's the perfect moment to offer Paul a lovely upgrade moment. So this is how it looks like. Paul, like many of us connected on our phone, will, like 56% of all guests using Oki, open this link and this email on his mobile phone. And by simply clicking on it, it will open his browser. No download needed. We're talking app web technology here. From here, he decides to actually go for, well, either a superior room, looks tempting, or even a suite. Okay, let's not show off. Let's just go for the superior room. You see here a nice discount. All of it is, of course, customized by the hotel. Boom, he just booked with only one click, and you as a hotel just made 35 euros. Direct revenue, remember, commission free. But wait, what actually happened to Paul's standard room? We're 10 days before arrival, right? That means that the standard room became available again. And this can become quite a strategy. Actually, one hotel is using this so much as a strategy that they've optimized for months to find the perfect upgrade supplement between the standard room and the superior room. What they did, they've increased and improved by 300% the upgraded room nights that would go from a standard to superior. Which means that actually, they could resell so many standard rooms. And you can imagine that if that room is available again, Mary, eight days before arrival, she doesn't know Paul, but she will book the same room. And boom, an OK email will reach her. She will think, hey, Mary's a bit of a luxury taste, so she will book the suite. Which means that the same room becomes available again for John, this late booker, which is super price sensitive, who would have never paid for a superior suite, but is very happy with the standard room. All of this happened, you did not decrease your superior or your suite prices before the check-in because, hey, they were still available. And what you see is that not only you're working on your ADR by selling upgrades, you're also working on your occupancy, which means your rave bar, well, hopefully goes with a nice boost. We're talking commission-free again, so with the right direct revenues and smart discount, that's actually smart pricing, we are, uh, well, helping hotels to uh, boost their GOP par. I had to put that word somewhere because it's very trendy nowadays, GOP par. All right, coming back to Paul. It's now three days before arrival, and Paul is at home, and like all of us, he is preparing his stay. He's checking TripAdvisor for all of the restaurants around the hotel. He's checking how to get to the hotel from the airport over the train station. And, well, he's also checking the alternatives to have a nice coffee and croissant or whatever other breakfast, because hey, Remember, he did not book breakfast. Well, that's when Oki comes again with a second email, and this time we focus a lot more on the services. That's the moment to do it. And because he didn't book breakfast, Oki knows it, and we show this last minute offer of breakfast throughout the stay for 12% discount. Again, with only one click, Paul can book breakfast finally. Mary, she booked breakfast previously, she will not see this offer. So she won't be disappointed that she paid 12% more than Paul. And this is actually where the magic happens. This is the dashboard, this is the, the view of what the hotel sees, and it's as simple as that. Segment, edit, upsell. Segment, edit, upsell. It takes literally one minute to create any new offer, any new deal, edit them, put them online, put them offline, and you can really, really start having fun. What I want to do is now take you through a journey of uh, cool offers and uh, very, very well selling offers. And we might start with a bit of a traditional one. Yeah, mm -hmm. restaurant. Okay, so in general for hotels that are, I, I talk to every day, there is two kinds. Either the hotels that have a restaurant which is super popular and then usually when the hotel guests are coming up, showing up at uh, 8.30 on a Saturday night without a table reservation. <coughs> sorry, uh, you don't have to have a reservation? No, but we're hotel guests. Yeah, doesn't matter, I'm sorry. That's not the best guest experience. 
Or, second part of hotelier is with a restaurant, where the restaurant is often empty. In both cases, what you want to do is make sure that you really target your guests and reach out to them to offer them to not only request for dinner, but actually book a table. That's before all of these guests will show up and, uh, and it's too late, but it's also before they walk in front of the 50 restaurants that are around your hotel, before they get tempted, basically, for it. Quite often, I also speak to hotels that don't have a restaurant. And, um, well, they tell me, okay, we don't really do upselling because we don't really know what to upsell. Uh, that's the perfect moment to invite your partners to the party. For instance, well, sell museum tickets, if you have a ticket and activity provider. I'd like to point out a bit uh, more on the, on the second one, transfer from the airport. We have just finalized an exclusive partnership with Taxi Electric, which is an electric taxi company, what's in the name, based in Amsterdam. Um, it's a very social company. The point here is that every single hotel, that, sorry, every single guest that will request this transfer from the airport to the hotel will not get taken with a big detour and pay 200 euros by a shady taxi company. They won't have to wait because actually they provide their flight number and their phone number directly when they book this transfer. So when they land, Taxi Electric sends them an SMS telling them where the driver is waiting for them and they can actually go with a nice Tesla directly to the hotel. Thank you so much to Hotel Casa. I don't know if there are still some, uh, some people from Hotel Casa for the amazing pilot we did. Um, on top of a happy poll that just had a nice trip in Tesla to get to the hotel, the hotels also get a commission, a cut out of this um, fixed price. Now we get to the cool part. So this is what happens when you provide an upselling platform to creative hoteliers using Muse, and I will name them because I think that's awesome, Teleport Hotel, Amsterdam, and The Hague. These guys decided to use Oki to reward all of the guests that were staying for more than two nights and decided not to get their, clean, their room cleaned every night with a free pizza or a free corona. Well, that's 60 guests that decided to book that in August. Can you imagine the housekeeping saving costs? Can you imagine the planet and water saving costs? Or saving in general? This is really awesome. Now we're getting to upselling 2.0. And um, well, why not use Oki to enroll your guests into your loyalty program? This is something which is always so difficult, so it doesn't hurt to have, well, sign up as a member as the very first deal that will be shown in Oki. And this other one, Fonz the Goldfish, that's my personal favorite one. So it doesn't happen so often that after a business trip you can say, wow, I slept with a goldfish and it was great. But thanks to uh, Fonz Falk Brussels Airport, it's now possible. All of the <laughs> business guests that booked for a single use of a, of a one room get the possibility to rent Fonz the Goldfish if they feel too lonely. All profit goes to charity. Um, and I can tell you that it really made the buzz. Uh, and Fonz has been a very busy fish. All right, I um, actually had this for extra time, but I'm not sure we have to go through it. Um, this is um, a simple dashboard. We know that for revenue managers, data is key, and uh, we also love, we're really fanatic about conversion numbers. So <laughs> that's why we provide um, reports, live reports to all hotels, so that you can really track how much money does this nice upselling tool actually bring. And, uh, well, you could be surprised. This is a Thrissa Hotel um, with 143 rooms. As you can see on the right for you, um, that's, again, direct revenue. This is a smaller four-star hotel in Glasgow with the highest upgrade conversion that we've seen. This is only room upgrade. Um, almost 10% of all the guests that received an email from Oki actually upgraded their room. So they also found a nice way to uh, trigger these guests. And how did they do that? They're in Glasgow, they actually gave booze for free. So from the moment you book a superior room, they had so many superior rooms that were empty, well, they just um, give a mini bar for free, full of booze, and apparently it works. Finally, nice example, um, quite a smaller hotel, super luxury, five star, only 25 rooms, 25 suites, you can imagine. Um, and these guys did not even want to use up room upgrades, so we just deactivated that for them. As you can see, 0%, um, but they're making still between three and 6,000 euros a month extra, only on selling services 
that they had on their website before and never sold. You can think of the most expensive item we've ever sold on Oki, and that's a helicopter tour above Amsterdam for 850 euros. So your guests actually have uh, the budget to pay that if they want to. All right, this is it for me. Um, thank you so much for your attention. I uh, want to add uh, one thing, and for that I want to invite my colleague Marike and Thomas on the stage with me. We're in the business of happiness, making guests happy, making people happy, and I want to take this opportunity to officially announce the launch of a new program, Referral Hotelier program. Uh, it works like this. Give something, get something for every single hotelier that you will refer to Oki. You get a month for free of Oki, and that hotelier will get 15% discount set up. So you know where to find us. We'll be upstairs. Thank you so much.